Trump got a chance today at his press conference to respond to a laughable response yesterday during his press conference when asked about rising anti-Semitism and uh, the belief that many people have that his campaign has not only been silent on anti-Semitism but has also played with it. Uh, we've seen his tweets including uh, like the, the Star of David and things like that, you know, bringing on Steve Bannon, a known anti-Semite. So he responded to that. We did a video on it yesterday. It was ridiculous. But he got a second chance today. Let's see if he can be a little bit more sensitive to the concerns of people who are worried about anti-Semitism in this response to a journalist from uh, Ami magazine. What we are concerned about, and what we haven't really uh, heard being addressed, is an uptick in anti-Semitism and how the government is planning to take care of it. There's been a report out that 48 uh, uh, bomb threats have been made against Jewish centers all across the country in the last couple of weeks. There are people who are committing anti-Semitic acts or threatening to... You see, he said he was going to ask a very simple, easy question. And it's not. It's not. Not a, not a simple question. Not a fair question. Okay, sit down. I, I understand the rest of your question. So here's the story, folks. Uh, number one, I am the least Semitic person that you've ever seen in your entire life. Number two, racism. The least racist person. In fact, we did very well relative to other people running as a Republican. Quiet, quiet, quiet. See, he lied about he was going to get up and ask a very straight, simple question. So, you know, it's welcome to the world of the media. But let me just tell you something, that um, I hate the charge. I find it repulsive. I hate even the question because people that know me, and you heard the Prime Minister, you heard uh, Netanyahu yesterday. Did you hear him? Bibi. He said, I've known Donald Trump for a long time. And then he said, forget it. So you should take that instead of having to get up and ask a, a very insulting question like that. We're not yeah, go ahead. Oh my God. That's insane. Okay, so let's, first of all, that's Jake Turks who's asking the question. Uh, I interviewed him during the Republican National Convention. Great guy. And you should check out his reporting and there's a wonderful question. And, uh, and, and there is no person named Betanyahu. <laughs> It, it's Benjamin Netanyahu, not Betanyahu. Oh my God, Jesus Christ, what a child. Okay, you just, look, it's the Israeli Prime Minister, you learn his name, him. learn his name. Okay, and who Ask says? Joe Trudeau, he can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Trudeau, okay. <laughs> So, and who says things like, I'm the least anti-Semitic person that you've ever seen in your entire life? Well, Jake is Jewish and knows a lot of Jewish people. I bet they're a little less anti-Semitic than you. Now, weren't you listening? <laughs> okay. No, they're not. <laughs> and and I, the least anti-Semitic person I've ever seen in my life didn't go into the Republican um, uh, uh, Jewish uh, gathering that he did during the primaries mm. and go, you know, uh, you guys know a thing or two about negotiating in this room. Yeah. Or, or renegotiating. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that is not what the least anti-Semitic yeah. person says. And the least anti-Semitic person did not put a star David next to crooked Hillary uh, that he actually borrowed from a white supremacist uh, meme from 8chan that the alt-right also used. That's what you also did during the campaign. That's not what the least anti-Semitic person says. Yeah. Then now but let's go back to what a child he is. Uh, he said uh, yesterday, and, and that's same when the same question was asked, we're going to do everything within our power to stop long-simmering racism and every other thing that's going on. We're going to stop every other thing that's going on, okay, whatever that means. Well, that and at least, that makes it sound like he was really responding to the question. He was asked about the fact that there have been dozens and dozens of bomb threats against synagogues, and he immediately launched into a discussion about his electoral college margin, and then talked about his family members who were also Jewish. Yeah, no, and that, by the way, that is fair. Say, hey, look, why don't you just answer the question in the simplest way possible? My daughter is Jewish. She converted to Judaism because she loves the religion, and my son-in-law is Jewish. My grandkids are Jewish. That's a great answer. Just but, say that. But, but I don't think right. it is a great answer because then why didn't you talk about the synagogue that was shot up? Yeah, and and when they're uh, and the threat we're going to cover a little bit later on today, another threat against another. The fact that there are all uh, all these bombings, you can't say, oh, here are all the reasons I care a lot. That just makes it seem all the weirder that you're silent about these trends. So, and he is, he's purposely so. Yesterday, he wouldn't even say the word anti-Semitism. That's why he said racism and all the other things yeah, going on. He won't say it. He won't say it. He didn't say it during the. 
He didn't mention Jews during the Holocaust remembrance. Look, you might think that's a small thing, but he didn't I, say it there. I don't think he said yeah, the charge. Yeah, and, and and he at least said I'm the least anti-Semitic person, so he kind of oh, mentioned okay. the word, right? Yeah. But but hey, Donald, it's a serious issue because the number of anti-Semitic crimes, along with other hate crimes, have gone up significantly. That's why people are concerned about it. That's why they ask you the question. So instead of you know taking it personally and going like uh, talking about your electric college win, and by the way, the reason he brought that up is because he said we have tremendous enthusiasm out there. In other words, I don't want to lower the enthusiasm of the right wing who are supporting me. Yeah. Otherwise, why did you bring that up in the middle of a question about anti-Semitism? So I so then I'm not going to talk about it. And uh, and so the Anti-Defamation League CEO Jonathan Greenblatt said, "Look, when you don't acknowledge the things that are going on and decry it, some people might, even if you don't mean to, might misinterpret that." As, as tacit approval, tacit approval, and even if it's not approval, it, it, that it's not a big issue, it's not yeah. a big deal, and you begin to normalize it. And he ended that statement by saying, "Intentional or not, this emboldens anti-Semites." So now, look, the only defense of Trump in this case is that he has incredibly low IQ. He's a child, so maybe he doesn't understand those concepts, like yeah. that. Hey, listen. Hey, I should decry this because it's a bad idea, and leads to people getting really, really hurt, and these attacks against synagogues that are happening today. That he, his brain is so small that it <laughs> might not be able to understand such a simple concept. But that's the only defense you can make. Because the other yes. part, the other interpretation is, I don't want to say anti-Semitism, and I don't want to criticize it because I've got tremendous enthusiasm yeah. here for my voters, and I, and that would depress their enthusiasm if they found out I, I'm. I'm not anti-Semitic. Well, as a response to that uh, response, uh, the ADL put out a tweet saying, "Troubling that POTUS failed to condemn real issue of anti-Semitism in U.S. today." And we probably shouldn't gloss over the fact that it's one thing to say the things that he said, but look at how he treated the reporter who was trying again two days in a row. Now people have tried to get a response on this. Please say that people shouldn't bomb synagogues or shoot them up. And he said, okay, sit down, sit down. You had your question, sit down. He, he shushed him, basically, and told him it's an unfair question. That's an insulting question. How dare you ask me about anti-Semitism? It's an insult that you would even bring that up. That is absurd that he treat anyone that, that way in response to any question, but especially when it's about acts of terror. And Jake's from a Jewish magazine, and, and he asked the question, and... I can understand being insulted by the question. I, I get that part. If somebody charges you with racism, bigotry, or anti-Semitism, you're going to be get defensive. I understand that. So one, uh, and but and by the way, he's not even saying you're anti-Semitic. He's just saying, can you acknowledge the anti-Semitism yeah. in the country and and say, hey, don't do that. Such a layup, so easy. And when you go, I'm the least anti-Semitic person. Now you from the Jew magazine, shush, 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 sit down, right? Like, ay, 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 ay. Even if you, he doesn't mean it. It looks bad, doesn't it look bad? Yeah. Okay, uh, no, but, but his supporters are going to love it. He's shutting down the media, and look, that guy, probably Jewish, shut him down. Feels good to watch him shut those guys down. He's not probably Jewish. He's definitely Jewish. I talked to him. <laughs> no, I was, I was playing one of his uh, his supporters there. <laughs> yeah, and, they don't know the magazine. And by the way, you know what else that does? That also that goes to the heart of the ADL's concern here. It seems to tacitly acknowledge. Hey, enough with that crap that you. Oh, you're always, you know, bringing up this complaints about yeah. the anti-Semitism. Enough of that, okay? It's a, even bringing up the issue is insulting. I'm moving on and shush already. Yeah, and imagine, imagine, like if you're a Trump supporter, just imagine if Obama had done this. If some reporter said, oh, you know, oh, there's a lot of concerns oh, about oh. ISIS in America and there's threats against public places. I ah, shut up, shut up with the anti. I, ISIS, yeah, it's insulting you ask me about ISIS. Shut up and sit down. Are you kidding me? Imagine if he did it to a reporter like Jake. Yeah, and he's like, hey, I'm worried about anti Semitism and, you know, and yada yada. And he's like, yeah, all right, sit down already. Could you imagine if Obama did that? What, how Fox News would have reacted? Yeah. And they asked him about anti Semitism. He won't answer the question. And if he said, I'm the least anti Semitic person there is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, there would have been no end to just that if Obama had ever said that. Corporate media is awesome. Wrong. Independent media is the way to go. Believe me. Believe me. Support independent media right now. Become a Young Turks member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.